Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen to the 14th installment of my tutorial guide on AEM Designer. Today we're going to be going over some best practices for how to make, how to design a PDF form to make it fully accessible. So this is going to be pretty simple. So basically the first step that you want to do is, as I've always, as I've said many times before, always, always, always have a well-ordered hierarchy. In particular, you know, having a well-ordered uh, hierarchy is very useful. It pays so many different dividends in so many areas. In particular, for accessibility, it'll pay dividends for your tab order because as long as your hierarchy is well-ordered, if it's correctly ordered, then by clicking automatic, that'll just pin the tab order to the order of the hierarchy, and that's all you have to do on that front, and that just saves so many headaches. Now, next up, uh, basically what you want to do is, when you're designing your form, you want to design your form so that all the tooltips, assist text, captions, that so all of these are done, you know, as you go and not you're not just scrambling to do them all at the end. Again, it'll save you a lot of time in the long run, especially if you know up front that you have to make your form eight away, five way compliant, ADA compliant, what have you. So let's just take our custom object that we made before. So it looks good, it looks perfectly fine. It isn't exactly conducive to being made five way compliant though, because notice up top you know, we have our header rows up here. We have our header row, we have our cells. So we have our first name, last name, date of birth, and then we have our text fields over here. Now, this is all well and good. It's not really the best. We can make this a bit better if we want to make this accessible. So we're just gonna, well, we can just add it again. We can click, add it into our view. And firstly, I'm going to get rid of all that the content in our header row. So basically what I'm trying to do here is for one of the requirements for having accessible fields, text fields, is that you want them, you need to give them a caption. So to that effect, we're going to go into the cell pane over here. And so I'm, I've selected our first cell, our first text field, and we're going to give it a caption. So first name. And then for all of these, we're also going to set the value. We're going to, uh, we're going to layout. We're going to set the layout. So we're going to set our caption to be on top. So essentially where the header would have been. So we're going to also set the alignment to be the middle just to make it look a bit more pretty. So similar thing, we're, similar game we're going to play with this caption. So last name. And then for the third one, date of birth. Beautiful. Now we have some captions above this, and we're just going to make these cells pretty small, essentially. So we're going to have a header row technically, but it's not going to be very visible. Let's see how small we can make that. Oh, no, no, more smaller than that. Well, we can just eliminate that then. Beautiful. So. We have, we have our table. Now we just eliminated the, the header row, but we could also, we also could have just made the entire table could be composed of the header row. That would also work. So in this case, we have our captions laid out. Next up for each of these objects we want, we're going to go in the accessibility tab. We want to give them some tool tips. So when somebody mouses over the, the cells, they'll see like a little pop-up saying how to fill in the form. So, and in practice, you can just make these the tooltips and your assist text. So the custom screen reader text below. In practice, you can make these essentially the same thing. So, please fill in your first name here. You can just copy that, bring it into here. Whoops. Bring that down there, and then play the same game with your last name. Cool. And then for your date of birth. Beautiful. Now, now that we've done all that work to make our table accessible, now here's the cool thing. Once we've done all of that, we can then resave it as a custom object again, 
and it'll be it'll still have all that accessibility functionality because because it's not going anywhere once we put it into the custom object library. Whoops. Let's click and drag that. Let's click and drag that out. Designer can be a bit finicky with where you click it. There we go. So you're going to click and drag out your object, and you're going to put it in your object library. And we're going to call this accessible demo table. We're going to click OK. And again, it's added to our object library. All the accessibility stuff has been added. It's going to be saved. We don't have to do anything else to get this back. So again, that just makes designing accessible documents that much easier in the future. But yeah, if you made it to this point in the tutorial series, thanks so much for watching this video and all the others. And take care, everybody. I hope I taught you a lot of useful things about AEM Designer. And now get out there and make some accessible, expandable, dynamic, fillable forms. Take care.